Who has heard about chakras? Right? Well, I'd heard about chakras because I'd done Reiki, but I thought that's an Eastern Japanese thing. So I'm thinking, what do guys in Brazil know about chakras? But they're clearly, they started on my base chakra. Base chakra is your family area. That's the area down here. And as they're working on that, they start reminding me of my things in my family. And I'm reminiscing about things that go on in my childhood and kind of thinking about things and releasing things. Then they moved up to my sacral chakra, which is right here. And that's where all your relationship stuff is. Oh boy, they spent like a whole day on that area. <laughs> but they actually did. They worked on the different chakras and they cleared everything out. And it was an amazing experience. But what really got me is when I talk to people down there and I'd say, well, what happened to you? Why are you here? And they might say, oh, well, I came because I had cancer. But then he cured me and I'm back again five years later. And I said, what happened? Did it come back? And they said, oh, no, no, I'm just, I'm just here just to enjoy the energy. And that's what everybody was saying, that it wasn't about the physical healing. It was the fact that when you have this kind of a spiritual healing, you are releasing it from, the, from wherever the energy was, from a soul level. So you're releasing that energy. So you know, like if you had like a cancer and it's removed, sometimes it comes back. And that's because the energy is not removed. When you lift the energy, you have this amazing feeling. You feel like on top of the world and your life has changed because all that stuff that you had that's been causing these problems is gone. And that's what spiritual healing is about. And so that's why these people were saying, I come here all the time. It's amazing. You have to experience it to understand it. So one day I go in front of John of God and I want to ask a business question. Because you can ask business stuff. You can say, well, I got this problem with my relationship. Or I got this problem with finances. I'd like some more money in my life. Um, or business stuff. So I go up and I have a business in Los Angeles. And I had a little problem with it. So I go up and I've got my little brochure and everything. And I've got a question about it. And I go up in front of this great spirit. And I'm thinking I'm going to get some great answer. And as I walk up, he goes, yeah, yeah, we'll help you. Go sit in meditation. And I'm like, and that's it? Like, didn't, didn't touch me or anything? Didn't say anything? Didn't, I was supposed to get like a reading or something, like touch me, heal me, do something, right? So I was feeling a little bit slighted. And I'm sitting in the meditation room, completely not in a very spiritual mind at all, thinking, didn't really get an answer on that one, did I? And as I'm sitting there in this kind of negative feeling, all of a sudden, I felt this amazing white light come over me. I felt this feeling like this white light came down from above and covered me up. And this such a strong, loving feeling, like being in love, but a hundred times greater. And I was literally pinned back. And I started crying with happiness at how amazing this feeling felt. And then I heard this voice. And this voice came like a man was standing next to me, not like a mediumship, like a person was really there. And this voice said, but what is your higher purpose? Meaning, you know, why do you care about all this stuff that's going on? This, this is where it's at, this feeling, this connection, this is what you should strive for. All this other stuff, if you want it, it well, you can have it, it will fall into place. But this, this is where you should be. And I said, wow, I, I want to share that with people. And the voice said, so be it. And I know it sounds really corny, but I really felt like that day I actually talked to God. And I know that some of you have had that little moment, and some of you had to go through like some horrible experience to get that little moment, but you've had that little moment, and it comes like once in a lifetime. Because every day I went back and said, oh, give me that again, talk to me again. And I had nice feelings, but not like that. That was the once, once in a lifetime touched by God. So I came back to Los Angeles, and I have a little spirit social group, Monday night group. And normally I'd have maybe 20, 30 people come over. And I sent out an email to my group and said, hey, I went to see this guy, John of God, in Brazil. I've got some photos to show. Come over to my house. I'm going to do my Monday night thing. Nothing really special in my email. And about five minutes later... This lady calls up and she says, 
what was in your email? I opened your email and this, it was like this white light came down from the ceiling and I felt this amazing feeling. This loving feeling came over me and I started crying with happiness. And then my hand that I've had problems with for 20 years is now feeling great. And I sent your email to my auntie who believes in nothing and she got the same feeling. And then I get another email. What was in that email that you sent? I felt this column of white light. I felt this amazing feeling and then this warm feeling in my back. And then I stood up and I've had problems with my back and now my back's great. And another one, hey, what happened? I opened your email. I felt so wonderful. And I went to the mailbox and there was a check for 5,000. I was waiting for a check for 1,000 and I got one for 5,000. I know it has something to do with your email. And I'm thinking, this is crazy. So the night rolls around and instead of my usual 20, 30 people, I had like 120 people and we couldn't park the car and they're all coming in going, oh, I felt this white light. Yeah, I got my knees working and oh yeah, my, my hips working and this. And I said, I don't know what's going on here. This is pretty amazing. So let's just, you know, maybe do a meditation. We'll pretend we're back down there. We'll, we'll connect him with this energy and we'll see if this works. And we did, and we got amazing experiences. And not only the people that were there, but the people that were there and thought about their family members and their loved ones, a lot of them reported that they felt this feeling, they felt this connection. And not only that night, but you know, f as long as I've kept in touch with them, they keep feeling this. So we're gonna put you in touch with that energy tonight. 